Hello and welcome to ihnani.com. See programming. Level 2. Video 1. This. What is C? C is a general purpose computer programming language developed by Dennis Ritchie. The initial development of C occurred at AT&T Bell Labs between 1969 and 1973. It was named C because its features were derived from an earlier language called B, which according to Ken Thompson was a stripped-down version of the BCPL programming language. The origin of C is closely tied to the development of the Unix operating system, originally implemented in assembly language on a PDP-7 by Ritchie and Thompson, incorporating several ideas from colleagues. Eventually, they decided to port the operating system to a PDP-11. B language's inability to take advantage of some of the PDP-11's features, notably, byte addressability, led to the development of an early version of C. The original PDP-11 version of the Unix system was developed in assembly language. By 1973, with the addition of struct types, the C language had become powerful enough that most of the Unix kernel was rewritten in C. This was one of the first operating system kernels to be implemented in a language other than assembly. Although, C was designed for implementing system software, it is also widely used for developing portable application software. C is one of the most popular programming languages of all time, and there are very few computer architectures for which a C compiler does not exist. C has greatly influenced many other popular programming languages most notably C++, which began as an extension to C. K and R, C. Brian Kernion and Dennis Ritchie published the first edition of the C programming language in the year 1978. This book, known to C programmers as K and R, served for many years as an informal specification of the language. The version of C that it describes is commonly referred to as K and R, C. The second edition of the book covers the later ANSI C standard. ANSI C was followed by a lot of other standards, the latest being the C1X in the year 2007. As of today, June 2011, the new standard is not yet finalized. The most recent working draft, N1570 was published in April 2011. This goes on to prove that C is very much active and evolving, even after being one of the earliest languages. Furthermore, in an industry where newer languages Tools and technologies appear and disappear every day. A language that has survived for more than four decades has to be really worthy. Uses C language can be and has been used in almost all areas of computers. Often some people say that C has been already superseded by languages like C++, C Sharp, Java, and so on. So why bother to learn C today? But, its usages goes on to speak of something very different. I would like to mention that what I am referring to is not all that can be achieved using C language. Let us now look at some of the areas where it is used. C is often used for system programming, including implementing operating systems and embedded system applications, due to a combination of desirable characteristics such as code portability and efficiency, 
Ability to access specific hardware addresses. Ability to pawn types, to match externally imposed data access requirements, and low runtime demand on system resources. C can also be used for website programming, using CGI as a gateway for information between the web application, the server, and the browser. Some of the reasons for choosing C over interpreted languages are its speed, stability, and near universal availability. One consequence of C's wide acceptance and efficiency is that compilers, libraries, and interpreters of other programming languages are often implemented in C. The primary implementations of Python, Perl 5, and PHP are all written in C. Due to its thin layer of abstraction, and low overhead, C allows efficient implementations of algorithms and data structures, which is useful for programs that perform a lot of computations. For example, the GNU Multi-Precision Library, the GNU Scientific Library, Mathematica, and MATLAB are completely or partially written in C. C is sometimes used as an intermediate language by implementations of other languages. This approach may be used for portability or convenience. By using C as an intermediate language, it is not necessary to develop machine-specific code generators. Some languages and compilers which have used C this way are BitC, C++, COBOL, Eiffel, Gambit, GHC, Squeak, and Vala. However, C was designed as a programming language, not as a compiler target language, and is thus less than ideal for use as an intermediate language. This has led to development of C-based intermediate languages such as C++. Major parts of popular operating systems like Windows, Unix, and Linux are written in C. This is because, even today, when it comes to performance, C beats everything. Most of the device driver programs are also written in C. The programs that are used in mobile phones, microwave oven, washing machine, camcorders, digital cameras, TVs are all written in C. Due to the constraints of limited memory and processor speed, but still requires optimal performance. C has also been widely used to implement end user applications, but much of that development has shifted to newer languages. In our next video, let us start with knowing how C programming works and continue from there on. If you have any questions or need more information on a part of this video, please use the forum at ignani.com. We will be happy to help you. You can find a lot of free video tutorials, training materials, how-to videos and much much more at our site www.ignani.com. Check out the forum topic related to this tutorial on the site for all your questions.